veel ingrediënts. Bloemmeel voor hier. Alles in de Het is supposed to be flikkers hier. As you can tell, it really isn't. I'm uploading this on the American Sunday. I apologize for its lateness. But work has gotten in the way. Now, on with the reading. This rune reading is for Mike. What we have again is the Wolfstead layout because this is going to be for the remainder of the year. Now, let's see what we have here. I'm going to be doing it live so you'll be seeing some snizbit cuts here and there. Um, Niflheim, which is the resistance area. We have Uthala which is inherited property or possessions or importance. Now, there is something as far as physical or um, something that is making you feel safe that isn't necessarily good for you it is stopping you from progressing. Next, we have Asgard. We have um, Puthro. Puthro is the uncertainty. It is the randomness. And for Asgard, it is the higher influences nature of relationships with divinities or the veiled branches of the questions, manners of honor, uh, influence from past states. Now, there is a a concept of divinity that one is unsure of. This can tie into Uthala in that one finds safety within divinity, but there is something about the divine that one does not understand that needs to um, be resolved. This can also involve past lives. Uh, you need to learn something about yourself. Something may uh, come to action as we go along. Next we have Rotenheim. Fancy that. We have the um, very room that represents them. We have the resource for Jotunheim, which is a reactive force, a directive force of defense or destruction. For Jotunheim, it is that which confuses you. You are uncertain as to where to go involving divinity of either the self or the gods themselves were uncertain where to call home. Next we have Svartalheim. We have Bercano. Bercano is the balance of life and death. It is the development of self. Now, for Svartalheim, we have creative emotional influences. You are reconstructing yourself at this moment.
trying to learn about your past lives, trying to learn about a divinity either within yourself or the divinity above or below. Next we have um, Devas, I believe. I am wrong. Argus. Argus' protection is the shield. Um, it is the urge to shelter oneself from others. How this works in the area that it is in, which is Muspelheim. Muspelheim says, It is a state of vile energies, that which vitalizes you. Active influences from the outside. You are stopping others from helping you. You are an individualist. So, this more points me in that you are rediscovering the divinity within oneself, but you are unsure as to how to do it. Next, we have Ulus. This is in Hel. Helheim. Helheim says that it is hidden or suppressed. Instinctual desires. Uru is an instinctual. Uru is the primal strength within oneself. You are utilizing this strength to find out about yourself. I'm sure you are a young gentleman, much around my age, so this is very common. Next we have... Fehu. Fehu is desire. It is the inner light that shines for everybody. It is possessions when or earned. Hmm. We will be earning something something, knowledge, knowledge of the strength within yourself, the divinity within yourself, to, uh, um, to better, to strengthen yourself, to, um, be self-motivated. Next, we have Vunho. Oh, by the way, that was in Vanaheim. Vanaheim. Bush of the Rose of Warwick. Is that Vanaheim? Yes, Vanaheim. Uh, promotion of growth, erotic relationships. You will be gaining a... Hmm. A bouncing influence. A... Eroticness. Okay. We are going to, at this moment, discuss a philosophical point. You have within yourself two yous. You have the you that was displayed, and you have the you, which is your balance. That is typically the opposing gender of oneself. It is what you would be um, if you were the other gender. This is where I think this is pointing that you are going to develop a better self, better relationship with oneself. Confusing, now. Yeah. You need to work with the inside, to work with the outside is the type of philosophical concept this is pointing towards. Uh, Lunho, which is in Rothschild um, Hein. This is mental influences, family manners, matters, messages of the mind, directions in which you should go. Don't worry, You're, you were confused earlier as to where you need to go. This is telling you that within short time or within the year, you will have a better understanding as to what you're going to be doing with your life. 
because you're going to learn about your inner self, your inner divinity, you're going to uh, yeah, learn about your inner divinity. Next we have Dalgas. Dalgas. We all know that Dalgas is the balance, and it is in Midgard. Midgard is on the notes, the notes, the notes, the center. The way people come together to man manifest themselves in life. The outcome in life, the ego consciousness, the personality. The personality, the ego consciousness, or the lower self. This is all pointing towards the divinity within you. Now, the upper consciousness, the ego, that is what you are displaying to everybody around you. That is how you wish to be perceived. The lower self, the subconscious, is this inner being, the, the thing that is the other gender than you. This is the balance. You are going to balance your ego with your inner self. There you go. This is what I feel is accurate within this. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or send me a personal message. Again, I apologize for the tardiness of this video. With all be May, I hope you enjoyed your new year. I hope it brings you exactly what was stated here and much more. It was in the positive scope, of course. This is Blue Mail Force signing off of all things Futhark. Voting the tones.